Welcome to this video in which we are going to share an exciting new development from the world of solar technology. It's about a new material that moves to track the sun without the need of any external source of power. This product can revolutionize the way we extract solar energy. In the first segment of the video, we'll explain what the material is and what it can do. In the second section, we'll explain how it does it. From the dawn of civilization, mankind has marveled at sunflowers' ability to track the sun. Apart from sunflowers, there are also other living organisms that track the sun and halt their movement when they're finally facing the sun. The phenomena is called phototropism. Many of us have wondered if we can create a synthetic material which has the same capability of following the sun as it makes its way from east to west across the sky. Now bear in mind that materials engineering has kept advancing which has allowed the technology in almost all the fields to flourish. We have developed many artificial smart materials that react to external stimuli. For example, nitinol is a shape memory alloy that goes back to its original shape after being deformed when heat is applied. Similarly, there are ferrofluids that react to an imposed magnetic field. They have a variety of applications, including the use as liquid seals. Coming back to the latest development, there is now a nanostructured polymer that can respond to light. More specifically, it can align itself with the incident light direction in the three dimensions over a broad range of temperature. The material is termed as sunbot, which is the short form of sunflower-like biomimetic omnidirectional tracker. The team of scientists from both UCLA and Arizona State University jointly developed this material and have reported their findings in the top tier journal Nature Nanotechnology in November 2019. Just to let you know that Nature is a multidisciplinary scientific journal that is one of the most recognized and one of the most cited journals in the world. Many of us are aware of the importance of tracking in solar systems. Physical or economic limitations often prevent tracking systems from being deployed in the domestic sector, but they are certainly used to good effect in the commercial solar installations. Here is a graph that shows how even the output is from a tracking system compared to a stationary system. We can get up to 30% more output with tracking compared to fixed angle systems. One can also notice the uniformity of yield with the tracking system, which has its own benefits. The newly developed sunbots have the ability to track the sun throughout the day. Such is their effectiveness that they can harvest 90% of the sunlight when it's angled 75 degrees away from the perpendicular to the surface. If we compare this to stationary solar panels, they're able to convert only 24% of the light at that angle. Therefore, by using sunbots, we can certainly increase the yield of our solar installations. Now let's understand how the sunbot works through a simple explanation. The sunbot is a small strand of material that is fixed at the bottom. Sunbot diameters of half millimeter to one millimeter, while lengths of 10 to 20 millimeters have been reported in literature. When a part of sunbot pillar facing the light gets illuminated, it heats up. A difference of temperature is created between the shaded side of the pillar and the illuminated part. This temperature difference results in the shortening of the pillar on the illuminated side. More specifically, the hydrogel used inside the sunbot shrinks with exposure to light. The shrinkage tilts the sunbot further towards the incident light till the top face is completely perpendicular to it. At this point, an equilibrium is reached and the movement stops. The mechanism is self-regulatory where the energy required to achieve the tracking comes from the incident light itself. When the illumination is turned off or changes position, the bent sunbot immediately recovers to its original shape or adjusts its orientation to accommodate the position of the new stimulus. The mechanism of the sunbot was inspired by the sunflower. The sunbot is a self-adaptive, reconfigurable material system with a built-in feedback loop. 
Just imagine the increase in the yield of solar panels attached to the top face of a larger sunbot pillar. The possible application of sunbots include enhanced solar harvesters, adaptive signal receivers, smart windows, self-contained robotics, solar sails for spaceships, guided surgery, self-regulating optical devices, and intelligent energy generation systems, for example solar cells and biofuel, as well as energetic emission detection and tracking with telescopes, radars, and hydrophones. As far as the commercialization of this technology is concerned, there is still a long way to go because of the use of at least one toxic material in its making. Nonetheless, it is still a remarkable achievement given that the existing solar tracking system not only required external power for actuation, but are also composed of complicated moving parts that require pre-programming. And with this, the video is concluded. If you stick with this channel, we'll bring you all the latest information from the best technology journals and we'll break down that info in easy to understand concepts. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.